You know, my mom says that I was building airplanes out of popsicle sticks when I was three years old. The first time I remember being in an airplane was probably when I was about three years old. It wasn't long after that I got a helicopter flight. And I always wanted to be an astronaut. You know, kids are really attracted to things that are big and flashy. And that's what airplanes really, really are a lot of times. They look magical, they do magical things, they go somewhere, they come back, and they really attract imagination, and they bring about a fantasy of flight. So I think kids really are attracted to that. And, and I think all of us, even from the, the, the youngest kids we have up through our oldest generation, we all want to know that what we do matters. That's what the Commemorative Air Force is all about. It's about using these airplanes, which are wood and fabric and metal, using them to learn from the lessons of our past to inspire a future generation. We can use the past to build a bridge to the future and where we want to go and where we can send young kids tomorrow. very, very excited about the next uh, iteration of what the CAF has been doing for the last 60 years. And the next iteration is the National Aviation Education Center. The National Aviation Education Center is going to be a welcoming place for young people to come learn about careers in the aviation world or outside of the aviation world. And we're doing it in a, in a 21st century way. And so when we talk about what the National Aviation Education Center is about, we know that we're not going to have our World War II veterans forever. But we also know that we can tell their stories through the aircraft, through the way that we use vocational training, the way we do STEM education, the way we train them and equip them to be leaders in their community and in their workplace. That is how we take the stories and lessons of World War II and that greatest generation and apply them and hand them to the next generation so that they can carry the torch of that spirit forward. This will be an entirely new 50,000 square foot facility that will sit next to our existing CAF hangar. We have our hangar, which we call the STEM Innovation Hangar. We have our nose art gallery, a unique interactive display so that the students can actually draw their own nose art and it projects onto the wall. We've got a great area from where we can do living history displays, we can operate our aircraft, but really the heart and soul of the building is in our classrooms in our east wing where kids can get hands-on with education programming to do everything from learning how to build a wing rib to using technology and smart boards and other things for classroom activities. We made great strides in technology during World War II, enormous strides in this nation and uh, teaching about aviation, teaching about what it takes to make an airplane fly. is essential for kids to be able to make their own leap in technology and knowledge. The whole premise here is actually allowing young people to not be looking through a glass window or see these things from afar, but actually get up and put their hands on history. Well, I think what it does is it brings history to life. Oftentimes, young people think about history in terms of dates and dead people. And so we want to bring history to life. I think it's important to honor those who, you know, sacrifice. Those who gave of their lives. Those who gave of themselves. Whatever opportunity we have to honor them, honor them for their service, I think we should take advantage of them. And this center will give opportunity for our young people to have something positive to do that's gonna help them in terms of careers that they're gonna to choose to go into in the future. So you can see the, the education, the honoring, the inspiring young people. All of these things are what make this project successful. We're also teaching them at the same time things like how to be a good citizen, how to honor veterans, how to honor the past and where we came from. I hope they walk away inspired, just inspired to go do something great. It doesn't even have to be aviation related. Uh, although certainly uh, I'm hoping that what we do sparks some aviation uh, interest in them. And so I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited about it, and I'm 100% behind it. It's been incredible the amount of support that we've gotten for this project, whether it's CAF members, volunteers, 
the philanthropic community here in Dallas, as well as the local city government. But there's no doubt, there's one particular individual who has been in this project from the beginning. And it is with great honor and privilege that someone who has been a member for so long, who has so supportive, and who is a World War II veteran, to unveil the name of our facility to be the Henry B. Tippy National Aviation Education Center.